this this is the one of the major functionality major responsibility of the network layer here let us take let us take uh, assistance of one diagram so that we can understand very clearly see here we have the source here we have the destination assume this is the source means from which network you are sending the mail or you are sending something some message you are sending to particular destination so this destination also will exist at will exist inside the one network so in this here you have the one router and in between you assume that you have n number of routers and this is the destination router for this network so these are the paths between these all the routers assume that this is router a router b router c for identification purpose see for this at this particular router you have the many uh, connections to this router means uh, many uh, networks will connect to this router so whenever any packet is came it will look the all the existed paths and it will identify it will uh, select the one of the path towards the direction towards the destination actually so here this congestion problem is actually suppose every router have some buffer space means whatever packets it will come it will store all the packets in that buffer then because every time at any point of time it will processing only single packet means while processing that packet if any packet is came so those should be accommodated at some place that is actually this buffer so after processing current packet it will pick one of the packet from the buffer that basing on first come first serve or a priority base that depends on the situation so now it will select one of the packet then it will process it then it will send that packet then once again the same process it will repeat so now point here is whenever this packet this buffer is full means there is no provision or there is no space to accommodate further packets whatever reaching this router this particular router so at that situation only possible thing is you have to be discard all these packets means this router is in a bottleneck so whenever you are in a bottleneck these packets have to be whatever packets were uh, coming to this router all those packets have to be discarded but this is not recommended one because you should not uh, discard the packet or in least case if you want to there is no possibility that to accommodate anything so only thing is you have to discard so at that time you have to go for congestion control in that situation while discarding that packet because of no space and because of uh, router is too much busy so simply bottleneck of this right this particular router it will give the one acknowledgement to the actual source before discarding it will take the source address and all required parameters from that particular packet then it will send a one message to this source so that source will understand that whatever packet is forwarded that packet is not reached the destination so <clears throat> means in this direction in this particular path routers are busy so that it will select another path okay so so here the concept is it will give the one feedback messages to the source simply we can say that is <coughs> negative acknowledgement so this feedback messages we are calling in this case is 
ICM internet control message protocol so that will be selected that will send by this router bottleneck router so this will reach the source and then source will select the another path source will assume that maybe there is a uh, bottleneck in this path of the routers so that's why it will select another path this path may be optimal may not be optimal may or may not optimal assume by default first one is almost most of the times that path is the optimal one but the second time whatever path it will select it may be optimal or may not we can say so this is something about congestion control then other than this some functionalities of the network layer is store and forward the packet switching and then service provided uh, to the transport layer because this is the below layer of the transport layer so that it have to be provide some services to the transport layer then basing on these services it will do some it will perform its responsibilities then it will provide some services to above layer of the transport layer this is the hierarchy so so that's why it have to provide some services to the transport layer so that is one of the functionality then for uh, we have the two kinds of connections connection less connection oriented those we will see in the respective topic so implementation of that connection oriented connection less uh, services is the one of the responsibility of this network layer so all together these three are the main responsibilities of the network layer logical addressing system which is actually ip4 and routing uh routing is selecting the exact path uh, exact uh, towards the destination between in between you have the many routers so that and at each router you have the many paths many existed uh, directions will exist so that among that it have to be select optimal exact path towards the destination so that functionality will done by this routing so we have the many routing algorithms are there then congestion control whenever any <coughs> at a particular uh, router if uh, bottleneck is there for that router it will give the acknowledgement to the actual source so that uh, source came to know that this packet whatever packet it is sended that packet is not uh, delivered to the actual destination so that it will uh, perform further actions correspondingly and then we have the some functionalities store and forward packet switching then services provided to the network uh, transport layer then implementation of this uh, connection oriented connectionless services so all together this is some of the major responsibilities of the network layer so let us see the next layers in the next videos